Hi everyone, it's Haley here from the Gale Library in Newton, here with you today with your preschool story time. So, the first thing we're going to do today is sing our hello song, and then we'll figure out what day it is, and then we'll talk about what we're reading about today. So, get your hands ready. Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? I love you today. If you like the color, trying to find red, <laughs> red, pat your head. If you like the color blue, pat your shoes. If you like the color green, pat your knees. Good job, I love you today. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Okay, so we have our story time on the same day every week, which is a what? There are seven days in the week. There are seven days, there are seven days to the week, to the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Saturday. Today is, did you see my thumbs up? <laughs> it's Tuesday. So we will put our day up, uh, the month, January, February, March, April, May, June. You guys know it's almost the end of June. July, August, September, October, November, and December. We're almost into July, but still June for a few more days. Yesterday was June 27. <laughs> Am I right? June 28. Yesterday was June 28. <laughs> so today, what comes after eight? If we have eight, then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Today must be 29, right? June 29th, 2021. We are still at the start of summer, and this week is a beautiful, sunny week, at least for today, anyway. Um, and mood, hmm, are we happy? I'm gonna tell you something my daughter said. So I always say, I'm always happy. And my daughter was, uh, was watching one of my story times and she turned to me and she said, mom, sometimes you're feisty. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with happy today. <laughs> so this is the first week of our summer reading program, yay! And as you guys know, it is the theme Tales and Tales and it's all animal related. This week we are doing bird tales. So we're reading stories about birds and we've got some bird crafts for you guys to do. So don't forget to pick up your craft kits this week. We have yarn birds and pine cone birds ready to pick up, which is very cool. My first book is called Birds and it's by um, Kevin Hanks, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. This was a Ladybug award-winning book and it's called Birds. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Do you guys hear that too? I do too. Birds can be what color? Yellow, or blue, or brown, or red, or green. Good job. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see them their eyes or their feathers. You just see their shape. Have you seen a really black bird? Birds can be big or any size in between. Once I saw how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birds on a telephone wire. They didn't move and they didn't move and they didn't move. I looked away for just one second. Oh, <laughs> and they were all gone. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, I think the sky would look like this. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this or this. <laughs> Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Can you see? It's like a red cardinal. 
if there are lots of birds in one tree and they all flew away at the same time it looks like the tree yelled have you ever seen that where the birds flutter all at the same time surprise they all fly off it's so cool to see that if i were a bird i'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests i like to pretend i'm a bird i can't really fly but i can do this can you see what she's doing and i can sing the end wasn't that a lovely story do you know two little dicky birds ready get your little dicky birds here's one here's two two little dicky birds sitting on a wall one named peter one named paul fly away peter fly away paul come back peter come back paul good job <laughs> all right i've got another one elephant and piggy books are some of my most favorite books because they're so funny i love the expressions on their faces and these are written and illustrated by mo willems and this one is called there is a bird on your head <laughs> is one of my favorites. Can you see what happened? They're just sitting there, minding their own business, and a little bird flies in. <gasps> Piggy! <laughs> is there something on my head? Yes. There is a bird on your head. There is a bird on my head. Ah! Look at him. <laughs> is there a bird on my head now no there are two birds on your head what are two birds doing on my head they are in love <laughs> the birds on my head are in love they're love Love birds? How do you know that they are love birds? They are making a nest. Two birds are making a nest on my head? Why would two birds make a nest on my head? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> do I have an egg on my head? Look at him looking very carefully. One, two, three! You have three eggs on your head. I do not want three eggs on my head. Then I have good news. The eggs are gone. The eggs are hatching. <laughs> hatching! The eggs on my head are hatching. Cheep, 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 cheep. They have hatched. Look at Piggy, he's crying, he's so happy. <laughs> Actually, it's a sheep. She's so happy. Now I have three baby chicks on my head. And two birds and a nest. I do not want three baby chicks, two birds and a nest on my head. Well, where do you want them? Somewhere else! Look what happened. <laughs> he bounced poor Piggy and the, the nest and all the birds away. Why not ask them to move somewhere else? Ask them. Ask them. Okay, I will try asking. Excuse me, birds. Will you please go somewhere else? No problem. It worked! Hi! You see them flying off with their nest? Where do you think they're gonna go? Now there are no birds on my head. Thank you, Piggy. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Can you see they ended up on Piggy's head? <laughs> I love Elephant and Piggy. They're so much fun. Uh, there is another bird poem. It goes like this. 
swept lightly by the south wind, the elm leaves softly stirred, and in their pale green cluster, there straight away bloomed a bird. His glossy feather glistened with dyes as rich as red as any tulip flaming from out the garden bed. But ah, and like the tulips in joyous strain ere long, this red bird flower unfolded a heart of golden song. The red bird, cute, huh? Okay. I have another one. This one's funny too. This one is called Grumpy Bird. He looks very grumpy. What color is he? Blue? Good job. Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. Let's find the right page. Okay. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. Has that ever happened to you? You wake up and you're a little grumpy? Me too. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Bird walked past Sheep. Good morning, Bird, said Sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said Sheep. I'll come keep you company. Bird walked past the Rabbit. Hi there, Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Bird walked past Raccoon. Hey Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? Looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm coming too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello Bird, said Beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking. Guess Beaver. I love walking. Think Beaver's gonna go? Yep. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing? Shouted Bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox. Let's go. Look at how grumpy he looks. <laughs> Bird walked. The other animals walked. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped too. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Bird jumped. The other animals jumped. Hey, said Bird, this is fun. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being jumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. All his friends helped to cheer him up. <laughs> Isn't that fun? He loved that one. Um, let's see, we have another one. Oh, I've got a poem. Mm. Five little birds without any home. Five little trees all in a row. I'm looking down because I've got it in front of me. <laughs> five little birds, five little trees. Come build your nest in our branches so tall. We'll rock you to and fro until asleep you fall. Should we do that one again? Okay. Five little birds without any home five trees in a row. Come build your nest in our trees so tall. We'll rock you to and fro until asleep you gently fall. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? Okay, I have one more book for you. We've just got time. It is called Wordy Birdie and it is written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Dave Motterham. Wordy Bird. That's a funny looking bird. <laughs> on his side. Wordy birdie. Let's have a look. Meet Wordy birdie. Wordy birdie had lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up. Hello sunrise, hello pink sky, hello orange sky, hello yellow sky, oh hello gorgeous. She's looking in the mirror. <laughs> Sometimes Wordy birdie talks about what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head and 
sometimes she talks about what she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad or losing my balloon or sometimes she just asks questions. Why do zebras have stripes? Is Bookfoot real? Are we there yet? But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the best listener. Oh, please. Are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay. Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. That's more like it. She never listens to anybody, even when she should. My third cousin Bob is a penguin. Really? This one time I went totally swimming with a narwhal. Do you think there's an award for bird of the year? Fact, people used to think the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. Can you see how she's talking? All these speech bubbles. She's got a lot to say. One day, Wordy takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she has plenty to say. That's a pretty tree, and that's a pretty danger sign, and that's a pretty tree, and danger ahead. Turn back. Before long, Squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Stop! Don't go any further. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Ooh, a pine cone. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a sign. Ooh, a leaf. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. Go back! Go back while you still can! Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Yay, my favourite strawberries and carrots for me and tomatoes for me. No trespassing. The raccoon gives a piece of advice. Run for your life! Oh, I think some danger's ahead. What do you think? Whoa, it's getting darker and darker and darker and look there, white circles and triangles. I love white circles and triangles. Can you see what's happening? Oh, she's walking straight into a... Oh, do squirrel and rabbit and raccoon just leave wordy birdie there with the bear? Oh, I don't know, what do you think? We do not. Come on, follow us this way. And Wordy Birdie, do you think she listened this time? She listens. That was almost unbearable. Hooray, we made it. Then Wordy Birdie says thank you the best way she knows how. I love you guys. Like, I really, 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 really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns and... Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? Good night, sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple. Oh, good night, you. But sometimes... Remember when we totally saved you from that bear and we were brave and amazing and that was so cool. She likes to listen to the end. Oh, she talked a lot, that Wordy Birdie, didn't she? Okay, you guys. That was the end of our story time today. So we will be back next week with some more animal stories for you and some more animal crafts. And I think next week we are doing farmyard friends. So we will have some fun farmyard things to do. Meantime, don't forget you can come into the library Mondays and Wednesdays from 12 until six and Tuesdays and Saturdays from nine until one. If you haven't signed up yet, give us a call and sign up to our summer reading program. We've got lots of fun things going on. Hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy this wonderful weather we're having and take care. Bye guys.